to uh, the next PHP tutorial. Um, I'll show you some different types of uh, variables uh, rather than just integers. There's a whole ton of them you can use. And some loops and uh, the syntax concerning loops in PHP. So, as usual, just start NetBeans and start the web server. Sam. Start Apache. Um, and as soon as NetBeans has started up, you can have a look. Okay, just someone else I'm working on. Okay, so I open the project from working on the other tutorials, uh, my first project. As soon as that decides it wants to open, look at the index page. So this is where we were last time. Uh, just using in a simple integer variable declaration. So um, yeah. So this is a simple integer declaration PHP. Um, to declare a string, we can go string. Uh, remember the dollar sign you need. Always need a dollar sign before you start any variable. String equals, and um, we can open brackets. Um, uh, sorry, we can open quotation marks, and uh, inside the quotation marks, we can put what we want the string to contain. Uh, so, hello world, for example. And we put the semicolon on the end. And that is a string variable. Uh, so, we can print string by that, uh, print string, and that should print hello world. Hello world. Um, yep, that's how it's a string. Um, you can also uh, have a double or a float, whatever you want to call it, float or a double, a number with a um, a decimal, so 1.98. Uh, at 1.98 and then uh, double 1.98 uh, so that's a, um, that's a double an integer would be see the thing about um, PHP is you don't need to declare what type of variable it is we just um, we can just um, use it as we want uh, we can even um, if I have here in, we can even combine variables of different types. So if I did a space here and then um, to concate a string, to add a string, well, to add something to a string, in PHP we use a uh, full stop period. So if I did that, string should now be string uh, should now equal hello world space 1.98. Oh well, 1.98. So that can that adds and what is an integer var uh not an integer, that's a double. It shouldn't be like that. That now adds a double variable into a string, and uh, it, but and uh, when it concates it, it um, that double is effectively turned to a string representation of 1.98. Um, yeah. So you can also declare arrays in PHP, which um, it's more complex. So an array to declare an array in PHP, we go array, and then open up brackets, and we can then say um, if we just wanted the array to be by um, to index it by number, we can say this is element one, comma. This is element two, and we can then reference it by printing. Um, array and then what well, zero? Zero is one because uh, arrays always start from zero an index of zero. Um, so this should print. This is element zero. Yep, this is element zero. If we change it to one, it would then print this element one because that is the second element, which is going to be one because we count from zero in the array. So what one? Um, we can specify a key, so we wouldn't use one. We can say 
can specify a string key and say element one. If we go here, we go element element one, and then we what we do is we go uh, equal sign right arrow. This is element zero, and element two um, the same way. This is element well element yeah. Even I'm getting confused with the counting from zero. So. So element zero. So now the array key is element zero. So if we print now, it should say this is element zero because we've changed. We're no longer using an, a number array key. We're now using a string array key. We've set our own array key. That's what this does. This is saying this array key element zero will equal this value. So that's the value. So when we print that element, we're printing the value of that key. Um, you can um, also have some element strings. We can have some um, keys as strings and some um, keys as numbers. So if we take out this, so that, uh, so element zero, that that will still work. However, this no longer has a specified key, so that will be. Um, that will be an array key again. So that should be array zero. Will it be one? Yeah, zero. So that will be zero. Even though this is the first element of the array, it we don't. Its key isn't based on a number. It's based on a, a string that we've specified. So there's some of your um, variable types in PHP and how to declare them. Um, let's just get rid of this. Let's go back to numbers. So that now array zero should now say this is element zero again because we've put it back to a number. Um, so say say we have an array, we want a, an array of uh, fruits, um, and we want to loop through every fruit. So let's just say apple, orange, uh, can't spell, orange, pear, uh, lemon. Apple, orange, pear, lemon, uh, strawberry. So we have an array of fruits now. So that will be apple will be zero, orange will be one, pear will be two, lemon will be three, and strawberry will be four. Um, so if I just, for example, print fruits zero, we'll have apple. If I print Two will have pair. So, if we have an array and we want to uh, loop through the array and print it in a nice way for a user to read, for example, we could use the uh, the for each uh, loop is the easiest way to do this in PHP. So, we start it by typing for each. Uh, we then open up brackets, and in the brackets, we specify first the array we're looping through. So we're, loop, we're looping through fruits um, and we go as uh, and we'll go fruit. So what this is doing is it's saying we're looping through fruits and each element, each element's value we're going to call fruit. That's the variable that we're going to use to reference it. So if I now print um, uh, if I now print fruit and then use the concate to do a HTML uh, BR tag, that will print the fruit that, that we're currently uh, on in the array and then a, a new line. So this should list all the fruits. There we go. Apple, orange, pear, lemon, strawberry. So what that has done is it's gone through the array and for each element of the array, uh, it assigns that element's value to fruit and then prints uh, the fruit it's on and then uh, a new line character in a um, uh, new HTML uh, new line tag. So we can also use the key. Sometimes you might want to use the key in when you're outputting data. Um, for example, if you have string keys 
you might use the string as part of what you want to represent. So if we wanted to list the number that the elements aren't, we can say as key, and key is just a variable again, we, we can call it anything, we call it um, uh, I don't know, cats or you know, it doesn't, it's just a variable but it's convention is that uh, you use variable names that uh, mean something so you don't get confused. So we then say fruits as key and then uh, equal sign and right arrow. So fruits as key fruit. So now we have the key variable to work with as well. So we can print key dot and then let's put some spa uh, a bracket and then space. So that should now print uh, the key it's on, the fruit and uh, and then a new line. So zero one two three four. Um, now. If a user was looking at this, that wouldn't be very helpful because uh, people don't count from a zero. So an easy way to get around this is if you put brackets around key and then just do plus one, it will um, it will print what the key's value is plus one, and then the rest of the string. So now it's one, two, three, four, five. So that uh, is more useful to a user. So that is how that is the best way to loop through an array. Um, other loops in PHP. If I just comment this out uh, in NetBeans, there's a little comment uh, comment button here, which is very useful. Just comment all that out, so it won't be output. Um, a comment, if you don't know, uh, is just um, used to temporarily disable code. So I can type print hello world. And if I put a comment in front of it, which is two forward slashes, it won't appear because it's no longer being executed. Uh, another way I can do, um, I can um, comment out code multi-line is if I do forward slash star and PHP uh, NetBeans automatically adds continues adding stars even though it doesn't actually matter. We can have a uh, a blank gap in between there, but it doesn't matter, but that's just how NetBeans does it by default. Um, and we can type whatever we want here, and that's also commented, so we could put them um, here, just put a, uh, and that'd all be commented. So yeah, that's two ways to comment in PHP. Uh, you can also comment using a, um, a hash, hash sign. Um, Yep. Yep. We can also um, there's also other types of array um, loops we can do in PHP. We can um, use a, a for loop. So you start by going for. Uh, the, you should use a for loop if you know how many times you want to execute some code. So if, for example, um, so to start a for. I have to declare a variable to work with, so for i equals zero. So I've declared i which is equal to zero, or well, i is lower than um, or less than uh, five um, i plus plus. So that is saying our i variable equals zero. While i is less than 5, keep incrementing i by 1 and executing this code until it no longer is lower than 5. So I can just print hello world and then new line. And that will print it. Yep, prints it 5 times. Or hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world. So that's a for loop. So if I send it to 10, do it 10 times. Yep. So, it's a for loop. Um, there's also the while loop, um, which works a bit differently. So, so while works on a uh, condition. So we can say while. Um, this is a good way to start an infinite loop. While true, it will always be true unless you break out. 
So while true, print hello world, and this will make a lovely infinite loop, and that will not it w will never load because it's going to uh, time out before it. Well, unless my computer runs out of memory, which I doubt is going to happen. Uh, time out after 30 seconds. I think the default time out. Oh no, didn't like that at all because it's an infinite loop. Um, so what we can do is. We could say um, you can basically do you can basically duplicate four loops. So we can say i equals zero and uh, print while let's say um, i equals well i plus plus increment i while i is lower than five. Print low world. Oh, didn't put a br tag. So that that is it basically um, does the same thing that this for loop here did, apart from that set to ten. So that's a while loop. Uh, there's also a do while loop, um, which works like this. Uh, no, that's wrong. So do and then while. So this is how a do while loop loop looks. You have a, you have do there, and then here we would type. Um, print hello world I oh, um, I equals no, that's stupid because it will still be five so we print hello world br and what we can do is if we had false here the way that the way the do while differs to while is do while will always execute at least once or as a while loop, this might not necessarily. Um, so it will say hello world, and then it will go while false. So it won't e try to execute it again, because it's been given a value of false. So it should just print hello world once, which it does. So we can make the same thing that the while loop here did. If we go i equals zero, and i plus plus, I is lower than five. Two, three, four, five. So that does it has the same effect that the um while it has, but it will um it will always execute the code at least once. That's how a do while differs to a, a while. And that is pretty much all the types of uh, loops in PHP you'd want to work with. Um and uh, some more variable declaration types. So, yep, uh, that's the end of the tutorial for this week. I'll think of something else for uh, for the next tutorial.